I signed up for Portfolio Night to get an outside perspective on a lot of my projects. I wanted to see what New York art directors were, what they were expecting from a portfolio, what I should change. Actually, I got some helpful feedback from the CCO of Edelman. He liked all of my ideas, but he wanted me to get out of the mock-ups and make everything happen. The advice I gave to some of the creatives is they're clearly very talented people, but a lot of them don't exactly know how to tell a story with their work. It's not just about the work, but how the work is presented. That book is a reflection of exactly who you are. So if there's something in there that you don't like, or you don't, you don't want to do that kind of work, then it shouldn't be in there. One of the things that they may not be picking up from school is exactly how the interview process works. There was one uh, young kind of digital art director that was kind of just standing by himself, no one was really talking to him, went up and talked to him. Turns out that actually he was having an interview tomorrow. Couldn't have been a better timing for him to be here to get a little bit of real world advice. One of my favorite moments of tonight was actually being able to like talk about my ideas and getting critiques back from it. I have been impressed by a lot of the sort of creative um, technology ideas that I've been seeing um, and have been unexpected and, and something that um, I have not seen in previous years. It was uh, good to get an outside perspective on what I've made. Things that other people who are closer to the projects wouldn't catch. It's not every day that you get to be surrounded by a bunch of creative directors and art directors. And so I feel like the feedback I got back from these creative directors and art directors and copywriters really was like a good push for me. That's why these events happen, so that someone can really get, get real world experience. That's all, now follow me on YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs>